Were you guys one of the lucky ones to get the new glitters out of the grab bags at our last sale? I hope so. So today I'm going to show you just a couple of quick designs where you can incorporate these new glitters, new little confettis into your nails. And it's going to be a fairly, I don't want to say simple design, but kind of a classic design. And then we're going to add just a little bit of a twist to it today. So let's get started. I'm just gonna go through and start prepping the nails just like we always would. Push back your cuticles. Always make sure that you get those cuticles pushed back. Okay, I'm just gonna prep two nails for you today and then I'll show you the final design at the end. All right, so I'm gonna turn my electric file on to about four to 5,000 RPMs. I'm using our medium arbor band right up around that cuticle area and then just kind of at a diagonal across the rest of the nail, just lightly to remove the shine. Same thing on our next nail, around that cuticle, and then diagonal through the rest of the nail, okay? Your prep shouldn't really take a whole long time, but you just wanna make sure that you're doing a thorough job. Okay. We're gonna come back in, dust off all of that dust from the nail, make sure that nail is nice and clean, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of our swipe on my manicure brush. Pump a little bit of that on there. Get that nail cleaned off really, really well. Give that nail a nice pH balanced surface so that our product is going to adhere. Make sure all that dust is off of there. Any lint that might be on there, make sure to take that off. Okay, so we have our cuticles pushed back. We've got our shine removed. We've taken our swipe and cleansed the nail. Next thing we're always going to use is our protein bond. Protein bond, again, is gonna work like a double-sided tape. So it's gonna stick down to that natural nail, but then it's gonna leave that sticky surface for the product to adhere to. Bring that all the way up to our cuticle area as close as you can get without touching. And we're gonna go through all of our nails with one coat, and then you're gonna come back and do a second coat. And you can see that as I apply my protein bond, I always start about halfway down the nail. That way I'm not flooding product all the way at that cuticle, okay? So again, start about halfway down the nail, do our second coat, and then work back towards our cuticle. Okay, we'll do our second coat on our next nail. Again, halfway down, and then work back towards your cuticle. Now, even though our protein bond isn't a primer, it doesn't have that methacrylic acid to it, you still wanna make sure that you're not getting that product on the skin. Any product you get on the skin can start to cause irritation or contact dermatitis, so you always wanna be careful no matter what product it is, okay? All right, let's go ahead and put our form on. Just like always, I like to take out that little center tab, put that on the back, and then pinch my two little silver tabs together nice and evenly. I'm gonna do kind of a longer coffin shape nail, so I'm gonna come in and pinch the end of my form a little bit tighter, and then I'm gonna open up that perforation at the top. We'll go ahead and get our form up underneath that nail. Make sure that form is coming nice and straight out so that it's in line with the finger. Now this is actually something that I wanna stop for just a second and just kind of show you. When you put your form on, if you were to take your file and line that file up from all the way, all through the three knuckles and then through the form, your form should be straight in line, okay? If your form is a little bit crooked, okay, I'm gonna over-exaggerate this, but when you take that file and you put it straight in line with those knuckles, you see how that form looks a little off? You wanna make sure to adjust that. So just take a second, readjust your form and then that should be perfectly straight in line, okay? All right, so on our first nail here, I'm gonna start with my Speed Clear, and I think I'm gonna start with, our first glitter is gonna be, this one's a really pretty one. I'm gonna just pour a little bit out so you can see a little bit better. It's kind of a mix of, almost reminds me of a baby shower, because it's got a little bit of blue in there, a little bit of pink in there, and then some glitters blue and pink glitters. So just a really fun combination. So I'm gonna start with that one today. Okay, so we're gonna start with our Speed Clear and our glitter. And for this first nail, that's all that we're gonna use. Okay, so I'm gonna start with 
nice pearl of my speed clear. Okay, and I'm going to drain that out on my paper towel here. That way when I place it down on the nail, it's not gonna run down my form. Okay, so I'm just gonna set that right at my free edge, press that out from side to side, and then I'm gonna bring that up to connect with my natural nail. Okay, I'm just gonna tuck that in on the corners. Had a little bristle on my brush kind of poking out, so I just went back into my monomer just to help reshape my brush. I'm not trying to add liquid to my product, I just needed to reshape my brush. I'm just going to press that out, come back over to my left side, and then just walk that right up to that natural nail. All right, and now because we're gonna do a little more of a coffin shape, I'm gonna start to taper in my sides a little bit more. I'm gonna just press that product so it comes a little bit more to the end of my form and tapers in those sides. I'm using the edge of my brush to really kind of tighten up my sidewalls here. And then over the top, I'm using more of the flat part of my brush. So side of my brush, side of my brush, flat part of my brush, okay? Now I'm gonna use our glitter, kind of little confettis. And anytime I place product, anytime I place the glitter or a colored acrylic over my natural nail, I always wanna put down a little bit of a barrier layer. So I'm gonna pick up just a small pearl of my clear and I'm gonna place that onto the nail. This way, when I go to change out my design, I'm not gonna to have to try to file all my product down to that natural nail. I've got that little bit of a barrier, so I only have to file down to that. Okay, so one of my favorite tricks is to pick up just a small pearl of my speed clear, touch that into my glitter, because our glitter doesn't have any acrylic into it. So I'm just gonna kind of roll that off my brush and then I'm just gonna mix that right on the nail. This way, I'm not gonna have to mix a whole container for just this one nail. So if you're doing designs where you're doing a lot of different things in your full set, you might not need to mix a whole container of your glitter. If you're doing a variety of colors, you don't want to. So this is a really quick and easy trick to help you speed up your process a little bit and not have too many jars of glitter on your wall. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Okay, I think that's about as much as I want. My form slipped just a little bit there. I'm gonna readjust that. Now I'm gonna start to kind of blend out the edge of that glitter. So it's not just a straight solid edge, it just kind of fades out a little bit. Fades right into that clear extension. Now there's a couple of spots that my product is still wet, but I still want a little bit more glitter there. So I'm just gonna touch my brush into my glitter and then just set it right into that wet acrylic. Okay, so we've got our glitter fade on there. Gonna come back in and we're gonna overlay that whole design. So when you're doing any kind of glitters, colored acrylics, um, dimensional nails of any kind, you really wanna make sure that you're capping that whole nail so that when you do your filing, you're not gonna file off your design. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up a nice large pearl. I'm gonna set that right down at my cuticle area. Do you see how I'm angling the finger downward? I wanna make sure that the gravity is working with me instead of against me. So I wanna make sure that that product is gonna run straight down the nail rather than down into the sidewalls or back into the cuticle. So as I have that nail pointed straight down, my product is flowing down the extension. I'm gonna lift back up and then I'm just going to blend out that edge. Now I'm gonna fill in from the free edge back up to that arch. So we're gonna pick up another pearl and this one, I'm gonna drain out just a little bit of my liquid, because I don't want it too runny. I'm gonna turn my brush around, drop that pearl down, and blend back up into my arch. This way, I'm still creating that arch and getting the thickness that I need. I wipe out my brush, and then I'm gonna to start to blend that forward. 
just enough to again cap that glitter and then right out to my free edge nice and thin at the free edge I'm going to take a look at this from down my free edge, down the barrel of the nail. I'm going to kind of look at it from the sides as well. See if there's anywhere else that I might need a little bit more product. I think I'm going to add just one more small pearl right at that free edge. Same kind of technique. Turn my brush around and blend back up to the arch. This way it's going to fill in that low spot, but it's going to help to keep that arch. All right, so I think our nail there is good. I'm gonna show you the second nail. So with our second nail, I'm gonna take our other glitter. So this one, this is kind of, kind of an orangey, peachy, just a really pretty, kind of a citrusy kind of a look to it. A little bit of a, kind of a gold, kind of a gold glitter in there, maybe a little yellow glitter in there. So just a really fun, kind of a spring kind of a mix. Okay. So for this one, instead of just doing a clear extension, I'm going to use um, two of our liquid art colors. So I'm going to show you how to mix those. So with your liquid art, what liquid art is, it's basically just colored monomer. Okay, It's not food coloring, it's not anything like that, it's just colored monomer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of our clear monomer into a different dampen dish. And then I'm going to take our liquid art. So I'm going to do an orange to kind of go with our glitter here. So I'm going to mix a little bit of our red and yellow together. And the red is very pigmented. So I'm going to use just a tiny little bit of the red. So, and actually I'm even going to squeeze out what's in the dropper because I don't want a whole lot. So I'm just going to touch a little bit of that into my Daffin dish. Okay. These have so much pigment to them. All right, I'm going to come in with my yellow. So yellow and red are gonna give you orange. Now I want a little bit more yellow than the red because the red again is very highly pigmented. So I'm gonna do eh, maybe about 10 or so, 11, 12 or so um, drops of our yellow. Now, when I use the liquid art, I always wanna make sure that I put the cap back on rather than leaving it stored with the eyedropper in it. Um, the eyedropper will actually allow the liquid art to evaporate. So make sure that you keep the cap on so that it doesn't evaporate. Okay. Another trick when you're using liquid art, so this brush is what I was using for my clear. I always have a separate brush that I use with my liquid art and I don't know if you can see it or not, but I have a little bit of a discoloration on the top that I've used to kind of stain that brush so that I know that that brush is what I use for my liquid art, okay? So that way when you go to do your clear, you're not gonna get your liquid art into that, okay? So have a separate brush for your liquid art. Okay. So now when we pick up our clear, that's gonna give us a little bit of an orange tint, okay? I think I wanna add just a little bit more red to that maybe one more drop and that's kind of the fun thing when you start to use liquid art and a lot of our different art um, art supplies it's really about customizing to make it what you want it okay so let me grab my brush mix that up a little bit more I'll check that out okay that looks much more what I'm going for so I think that one's gonna look really good with our glitters here Alright, so let me give myself a nice clean spot to wipe my brush on. Okay, so I don't mix up my brushes. This is my liquid art brush. I'm going to leave that one out. My clean brush that I use with my speed clear, I'm actually going to just leave that in my other liquid. Okay, so let's get our form on here. Just like we did before, put that little tab on the back, pinch my two sides together, open up that form, and we'll get that right under that nail nice and straight. Okay. All 
All right, so I'm gonna go in with my liquid art. I'm gonna pick up a pearl of my Speed Clear. We're gonna drain that out and then I'll place that at my free edge. Press that out from side to side and then right up to that natural nail. Use the edge of my brush to tuck in the sides and then start to pull my extension. Bring that nice and long down my form. Same thing on the other side, press in that edge and up to my natural nail. I want to make sure I get that right up into that corner and then we'll bring down that extension. And again, I'm just kind of tapering in those sides, pulling them in nice and tight so that I have a nice coffin shape nail. Now a lot of times I go through and before I even do my glitter, I check my free edge just to make sure is it thick enough. Because when you go to do your filing, if you may end up filing um, your liquid art a little too thin, you're going to see areas that are darker than others and some that are lighter than others. If your area is too thin, it's going to be lighter. So I want to make sure that I have even, even product through that extension, through that free edge. So I'm going to pick up just a little bit more product and I'm going to bring that right through just the end of the nail just to make sure that it's nice and thick at the end. Okay, now I'm done with my liquid art. I'm going to switch back over to my clean brush and before I put my glitter on, I'm going to come in with that little thin layer of clear just to protect that natural nail. And again, it does not have to be thick. You actually don't want it to be very thick because you still want to build up structure over the surface of it. So just that thin layer of clear. Come back in, pick up a small pearl of my clear, touch onto my glitters, and then I'm going to roll that off onto the nail. Again, we're gonna just kind of mix that together on the nail and just start to blend that product back. Okay, I think I need a little bit more just in a couple of spots here and then I'm gonna to start to blend that forward. Pick up just a couple more spots of glitter. Again, at this point, I'm not adding more acrylic. I'm just touching my brush to the glitter and setting it down into the wet acrylic. And I think that is about where we want it. So I'm gonna go back in, just like we did on our first nail, pick up a large pearl of my clear, and we're gonna overlay that nail again. And you can see I'm angling the finger downward pressing out my cuticle area, and let that product flow down the length of the nail. And you can kind of turn that finger to guide it. If it feels like it's flowing from too much on one side, tip it over to the other side, and that way it'll flow back over to the other side. You'll get good even coverage. And then again, I'm just going to feather out what we've got on there, come back in, Pick up our next pearl. I'm going to drain that out just slightly, turn my brush around, blend back up into that arch, and then blend forward. We'll cap that whole nail. And as I'm uh, blending out my product here again I'm still looking to make sure do I have any high spots low spots anywhere I think I might need to add more product and if I do you can go ahead and just add a small pearl wherever you need it and put just a little bit more right there on the edge again blending back up into that arch 
And as I'm working, I'm looking straight down the barrel of that nail just to make sure that I have enough product so that my free edge isn't too thin and that my arch is right where I need it to be. So once we have our product on there, go ahead and let them set. I'm gonna let these two set. I'm gonna finish up my next couple of nails and then I'll show you how to complete the design. All right, so you guys, I went ahead and finished up the set, but I do wanna tell you a little bit about what I did. So these were the first two that we did. On the accent finger here, I just sculpted that out with Speed Clear, and we're gonna do a glitter press over the top of that. And then on our last nail, I did the blue liquid art. So I mixed up a little bit of the blue and then did our third glitter over that, just the same as I did the first two. So we could have the blue liquid art, the red and the yellow liquid art for kind of that orange, and then the clear on this one. So now what I'm gonna do to kind of tie all of this together, I'm gonna take all three of our new glitters and one of our mixing jars, and we're gonna mix a little bit of all three of these together. So we're gonna start with, this is our light blue. This is the first one that we did. And we'll take our second one. Oops. Take our second one, that was the orange. We'll mix some of that in. And then our third one, our last color there. So let's give that a good mix. If you prefer, you can put the cap back on and shake it up, whichever way works for you. Okay. So let's set these off to the side. Now here's another use for your conversion base and top coat, or you could use just the regular manicure base and top coat. I'm gonna use the conversion for today. I just like the thickness of this one. All right, so I'm gonna start with our protein bond. That way when we do our conversion base coat, it's gonna have a really nice bond to our nail and we're not gonna to have to worry about it chipping off. Okay. So one coat of that. And then again, we're gonna come in with our conversion base coat. So a nice, healthy amount, good amount on our brush. We're gonna brush that from cuticle to free edge. Make sure you get all the way to your edges, as close as you can get to your cuticle as you can without touching that cuticle. Again, you wanna make sure you never get that product on the skin. Okay, all the way through. And because our confettis, they're just kind of micro confettis that are in our mix, we wanna make sure that we're getting a good amount on there. I'm gonna take my mixture here and I'm just gonna sprinkle that over the nail. And turn the nail on the sides, make sure that you get all of that coated. And if you have any little bits poking up, just tap those down really quick. We don't wanna put a lot of pressure on this cause that gel underneath is still tacky. And then tap off the excess and we'll go into our light for a quick 30 second freeze. Okay, first coat is cured. I'm gonna come back in and just dust off any loose bits and then take a look at the nail. I'm gonna see if I need to add a second coat. If I feel like I need a little bit more coverage, I can go ahead and do that. I think it looks pretty okay to me. I am gonna just take a buffer just right around my edges here to make sure any of those little bits of glitter or confetti aren't poking out. And just right up around that cuticle area, just to make sure. Dust that off one more time. Again, I'm kind of checking it from the sides just to see if I see anything that's really poking up. And then we'll either do two coats of your top coat, or if you want to do another coat of your base coat, you can do a coat of the base coat. I actually like to use the base coat because I feel like it has a little bit more thickness to it. So when I put this one on, this coat is gonna seal in those glitters and the confetti in there. And then I'll go ahead and do a coat of my top coat. That way I get a nice smooth finish. So we'll do a quick coat of our base and we'll get that back into the light. Making sure to cap all those edges, make sure everything is sealed in there. 
and we'll go ahead into the light. Okay, so we've got our coat on there to seal. Now we're gonna use our top coat, our conversion top coat, and this is gonna give us that nice high shine. And also if there's any last little tiny things, little pieces of glitter, maybe giving it a little bit of texture, the second coat will seal those all in. Give you a nice glass-like finish. And then we'll cure this for a full minute and then we'll use our manicure cleanse to take off that tacky layer and we'll be all set to go. Okay, so the nail is cured all the way through. We come in with our manicure cleanse. We're gonna remove that tacky layer. Now at this point, I can kind of see that my free edge is just a little bit um, uneven because of that coat of top coat. So I'm just gonna come in and just straighten that out just slightly. Make sure everything is nice and straight. Now, as I'm filing these edges, I'm not gonna worry. It's not gonna break the seal or anything. You're still gonna have the same adhesion. I'm just gonna take care of those sharp edges. You can even come in with our 180 buffer just to make sure everything is smooth and even. Okay. Dust those off real quick. And there's a fun, easy design that you can do with the new glitters from our grab bag. Thank you so much for watching our nail videos. To watch more, head right over here. And to subscribe to our channel, click right over here.